Hello, in this nugget, we're gonna talk about what do you mean you wanna buy a cell phone? And I like to start the nuggets off with a joke, so this joke is also very short. Uh, here it goes. I just wrote a book on reverse psychology. Do not read it. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> so into our intro. What are you assuming when you're working with your clients? Many top performers in sales will talk about assuming the sale, and that's really important stuff. In this nugget, I'm gonna talk about selling campers, bikes, and cars, and if we assume the financing or not on these units. You see, top performers in the sales departments at dealerships are always assuming that the customers are gonna be financing the unit somewhere, somehow, and that's because it's true over 90% of the time. Unfortunately, most of the time, I work with sales departments and dealerships that don't assume the financing or even ask bad questions that get the customer to say that they're paying cash when they're not paying cash. So I'm gonna share a little story about an experience I had twice at our local cell phone company that I think illustrates how we should be assuming the financing on these. So it happened twice, I'm just gonna tell the second story because basically it's a verbatim story. But I show up to the cell phone company because I lost my cell phone or I broke my cell phone or something, so I needed to get a new one. So I go into the store and I start asking them questions about cell phones and then we kind of land on one. I think I'm switching to the iPhone this time. So I'm asking her some questions about it. She answers them and then I ask her, how much is the cell phone? And she looks at me and says, well, it's like $30 a month, whatever the number was, maybe it's 33, it's $33 a month. And I said, no, 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 I just wanna know how much the cell phone cost. And then she looks at me and goes, it's $33 a month. And then I'm like, okay, you don't get it. I wanna know the total cost of the cell phone. And she's like, I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm like, how much is the total cell phone? Like if I just wanna buy the phone. She goes, what do you mean buy the phone? Nobody buys the phone, everybody finances the phone. And then I'm like, uh, okay, I guess I'll just pay the $33 a month and finance the phone. So what's the point of that whole story? In the dealer world, we're selling products that cost $10,000 to $100,000. On average, the transaction price is about $30,000 for most of you. If almost nobody is paying full price, a total check cash for a cell phone, they certainly aren't paying a full $30,000 for a camper or a car or a truck. So what do I recommend? In short, I recommend you act like the cell phone person and just assume that everyone's gonna be financing, right? Assume everyone that's financing and offer them both the total dollar amount and how much that would be on a monthly payment for any figures you go over with them. So if you're talking about the total cost of the vehicle, it's the total cost and what that would equal on a payment. If we're talking about adding $2,000 with the 20 inch wheels, it adds $40 a month. We talk about both numbers and we never ask them how we're paying for this. We just treat it like a cell phone and we assume that they're gonna be financing this unit. So we always share all that information from, with them. Does that make sense? I mean, if, if they're blown away that I can't pay $1,000 for a cell phone, I'm, I'm surprised that we aren't blown away when people say they're gonna pay $30,000 for a car. It's like Tony Staub always says, you need to speak the customer's language, which is payments most of the time. If you don't speak their language, you aren't gonna make the sale, and it's gonna be much harder to get down through that sales process. So simply assume the financing if you're selling campers or cars or motorcycles. And if they happen to be paying cash, you'll figure that out when it's necessary. So the book recommendation of the week is Secrets of Question-Based Selling. And it's by an author named Thomas Fries. It's a fabulous book on how you stop using statements and you start using questions and assuming certain things to get down the road of the sale better. It's only about 350 pages, so it's not a huge book, it's not a small book, it'll take you a little time to get through, but great book on selling strategies.